One area of biotechnology that I found to be particularly interesting is the use of RNA interference, a biological process of using RNA molecules to inhibit gene expression, to genetically engineer crops to make them more tolerant of conditions such as drought, soil salinity, extreme temperature changes, and other factors related to climate change. In the practice of using the process of RNA interference for crop manipulation and improvement, a series of steps needs to be followed. First, a targeted gene would need to be identified. In the case of using RNA interference to engineer crops that are more drought tolerant, the targeted gene would be MIR156, which is the gene that encodes for the protein important in stress responses in plants. Secondly, a vector would need to be developed. This would be the RNA molecule used in this experiment of producing genetically engineered crops. And as you can see from the chart that I've included, there were several different types of RNA molecules used in this particular experiment. Next, transgenic plants would need to be raised. A transgenic plant is one that has been genetically engineered, and in this case, it would be the crops of rice, mustard, and alfalfa. The RNA molecule on the left of the chart is injected into the crop to create a transgenic plant. Lastly, the manipulated crops would need to be assessed. In the case of these plants, the effects were mainly higher drought tolerance and increased tolerance of the cold. I thought this would be an interesting and potentially good technology to continue developing. In a world with an uncertainty surrounding climate change, to create crops that can grow in more extreme conditions may help with the issue of food uncertainty for a growing population. The second area of biotechnology that I researched is reproductive cloning. I have always felt uncomfortable about the practice of cloning, in particular reproductive cloning. Reproductive cloning occurs when the mature somatic cells of an animal are removed and the DNA is inserted into an egg cell that has had its nucleus removed. The first successfully cloned mammal from an adult somatic cell was Dolly the sheep in 1996. She lived to the age of six and a half and died from a type of lung cancer that is common in older sheep. She had also developed premature arthritis. Dolly also had shortened telomeres which is a compound structure at the end of chromosomes. They shorten during the aging process. Researchers have observed adverse health effects in cloned mammals, such as organ defects, premature aging, and problems with the immune system. There have also been many cases of cloned mammals where the animals did not survive. I think, in my opinion, the issue of reproductive cloning is more of a bioethical issue in using animals as test subjects.